In this video, I want to talk about dropshipping and how you can use it to make a tidy profit. Now, what is dropshipping? Well, according to Wikipedia, dropshipping is a supply chain management technique in which the retailer does not keep goods in stock, but instead transfers customer orders and shipment details to either the manufacturer, another retailer, or a wholesaler, who then ships the goods directly to the customer. As in retail businesses, the majority of retailers make their profit on the difference between the wholesale and retail price, but some retailers earn an agreed percentage of the sales in commission paid by the wholesaler to the retailer. What happens is the customer comes to your website, or it could be your eBay shop or your Amazon shop, and they place an order. The order details are then passed on to you, and you pass the order details on to the dropshipper. The payment details are then passed on to you. Now, this can be instantly if you happen to have your own website and your payment method is something like PayPal or a merchant account with your bank. Others might take a bit longer. There might be a bit of a delay. You pay the dropshipper and you make your profit off the difference. Now, depending on the dropshipper, you may have to pay them up front or you may be able to have an account and uh, they'll invoice you and you pay them at an agreed time. It varies from dropshipper to dropshipper. What happens next is the dropshipper will deliver the order to your customer. So you don't actually handle any of the merchandise. It goes straight from the dropshipper to your customer. Some dropshippers also handle the returns, so the customer will send the item back to the dropshipper if they're not satisfied with it, and the dropshipper might issue you a refund or it might just be um, a credit against future purchases. Others, the customer will have to send the item back to you. You'll have to refund the customer and then take it up with the dropshipper. It all depends on the arrangement that you have with the dropshipper. It does vary from dropshipper to dropshipper. Dropshipping means that you don't need to keep an inventory of stock. You have a minimal upfront investment. Some dropshipping companies require you to... Um, open an account and pay a fee. Others don't. Again, it all varies depending on which dropshipping company you're using. There are very low overheads because you don't need to keep a warehouse full of stock. And you can sell large physical items without needing somewhere to store them. So you can have a dropshipping business selling lawnmowers when you live on a top floor apartment, for example. And there are fewer cash flow problems because the customer generally pays you before you pay the dropshipper. So you don't have to go out and buy the stock from the wholesaler, store it, and then try and sell it and hope that you're going to make a profit by selling all of them. Okay, so how do you get started as a dropshipper? Well, the first thing that you need to do is decide on your market or your niche. It's best to concentrate on one type of item first but you can operate in multiple markets later, but it's best to keep them related. So what are some good niches to get into? Well, there are lots and lots of different niches to get into, and a lot of that's going to depend on your own personal preference. But according to the website williamshaker.com, the best niches to get into are cosmetics, greetings cards, mattresses and furniture, clothing, jewelry, and that means diamonds and watches and that sort of thing and sunglasses or eyeglasses a good way of finding popular drop shipping niches is to come to this site here which is watchcount.com and this keeps a track of the items that are being watched on ebay and it's ebay us but also the uk version australia canadian and so on and this gives you an idea as to what's hot on eBay because what's hot on eBay is going to be popular elsewhere. And a lot of items, of course, are drop shipped from eBay. Now, once you've decided on what you're going to sell, the next thing you need to decide is what sales platform you're going to use to sell it. 
Are you going to sell via your own website? Or are you going to sell on a third party site like Amazon or eBay? Or are you going to have a combination of all three? If you're going to sell via your own site, then the best platform to run is actually WordPress with the WooCommerce plugin. Now you can download WordPress for free from WordPress.org. But if your hosting package includes cPanel and Fantastico or Soft Delicious, you should be able to install WordPress from within your control panel. WooCommerce, which is a shopping cart plugin, is actually set up to allow drop shipping. It can send an email to your drop shipper to notify them of the sale and where it's to be sent. There are free and paid for versions. Uh, the free version can be downloaded from within the uh, WordPress dashboard, or you can come here to woothemes.com forward slash WooCommerce. If you're going to sell via eBay, uh, you can sign up at the eBay website, ebay.com if you're in the US, and there are other variations as well. There's one for the UK and one for Australia and Ireland and Canada and so on. Uh, click here on the link that says register. And as you're going to be selling, you wanna scroll down a bit and click here on register for a business account, and then click on this link. And then basically you need to follow the on-screen instructions. It's all fairly simple and straightforward. If you want to sell on Amazon as a drop shipper, you need to come here to sellercentral.amazon.com and then click here on the link that says register now. Now there is a fee to sell on amazon.com. As you can see, it's $39.99 a month plus additional selling fees at the time that I'm making this video. But you do get the first month for free. So you can click here on sell as a professional and then click here to create a new account and then follow the on-screen instructions. Again, it's all very straightforward. So how do you go about finding drop shippers? Well, a lot of that is going to depend, of course, on exactly what it is you're going to sell. But there are some ways uh, that you can find some good drop shippers. Uh, the first one is the wholesaler.co.uk, which you can find here at the wholesaler.co.uk forward slash suppliers forward slash drop shippers. And you can see it's got a lot of information on this site. Uh, a US based site here is dropshippers.com. Again, lots of information here. Um, this is a membership site you have to pay for, but at the time I'm making this video, they are offering a seven day free trial. And it has a lot of information about drop shipping as well, not just a list of suppliers. Um, Auctionsitenews.com has this uh, page here best hyphen drop shippers for hyphen eBay and it lists all the best drop shippers if you're going to sell via eBay or Amazon. Um, this site here watchmanadvisors.com has a list of verified drop shipping suppliers and as you can see it is quite extensive lots of different things here, uh, different categories and so on. This is a US based site and you can find out more at watchmanadvisors.com forward slash list hyphen of hyphen drop shipping hyphen suppliers. And if you're going to get into drop shipping, it's a good idea to join this forum, dropshipforum.com where you'll be able to chat with other drop shippers. You'll be able to join the community and get all sorts of information. And uh, it's well worthwhile doing. Now let's look at some best practices when it comes to drop shipping. First and foremost, you want to find reputable companies to deal with. So ask around, get recommendations from other people who make their living drop shipping and place an order yourself to see what the customer experience is like. 
Bear in mind that the merchandise may be coming from another company, but it's your good name and reputation on the line because you're the person that the customer is going to be dealing with. Something else that you need to do is to get your tax status sorted out before you start trading. Now, I know this sounds kind of boring, but it is very important. You need to know if you're going to be liable for sales taxes, uh, VAT, GST, that sort of thing. You also need to make sure that you have to collect the sales tax where you are or where your customer is. And also things, if you're going to be importing, you need to work out who's going to pay the import duty, who's going to pay the customs charges, that sort of thing. And you need to get that sorted because if you're trading, uh, let's say you have an eBay shop and you sell something to uh, somebody who's in your home country, but you're having it sent from a drop shipper in China, well, there's going to be customs charges to pay, import duties, etc. And the person who's receiving it will probably be lumbered with the bill unless you've got something worked out ahead of time. So you do need to get all that sorted from the very beginning. You also need to make sure that you know who is responsible for returns. Does the customer send the item back to the drop shipper or does the customer send the item back to you and you have to then deal with the drop shipper? So you should have a clear returns policy. Something else that's very important is to get all agreements in writing. Also, don't limit yourself to a single drop shipper or supplier because if the drop shipper goes out of business, well, quite frankly, you're up the creek. And you should also keep a supply of cash handy to cover any disputed returns or refunds. So there you go. That's a brief introduction to drop shipping as an online business.